Hello everybody, welcome to the NAF Cup quarter-final. This is Will King with his Lizardmen versus Pirate Bear with his Necromantic. Uh, Will King has won the toss, chosen to receive in the rain, which is a little bit risky, isn't it? But, you know, receiving is very good, getting the initial hits in. Um, the problem, th what's interesting is, of course, on offense, you've got to worry about protecting the ball as well as, as well as, you know, creating penetration, protecting the ball, all this kind of stuff. You know, maybe that's when the Necro get to beat people a bit more on defense because they get to make their wolf blitzers. Whereas on defense, you can primarily concern yourself with stopping wolf blitzers. So, um, yeah, interesting. Uh, it's interesting against, you know, for, for, particularly for lizard men because the loose Saurus is really, really bad. So basically, Pirate Bear is probably just trying to chip Saurus. It's going to be his main concern. Um, yeah, interesting. Thanks. Yeah, I, I did. I did say a lot of bad words, but you know, I, I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. Um, the chameleon skink here is, you know, a bit rubbish, but Wilking's done for the chameleon skink run the third reroll. It is good having a 12th player in an overtime format, and also if he's got to do a short drive, you know, like a one or a two turn, it is a little bit better doing the one or a two turn with the passing stat and the, on the ball. But yeah, it's. Uh, it's overall it's worse than skink, but it, it's very niche, very niche situations. In which case, it's better. Uh, Wilking hasn't gone for the six block; he's only gone five block and a guard, which I prefer six block. But you know, because the problem with this guard is he's going to get targeted. Oh my god, it changed to Blizzard. So that's a good change, really, for Wilking. Um, yeah, the the guard is going to be targeted relentlessly, as I said. And then we've got four guard, three block, and swapping a skill on a zombie for extra money to upgrade him to a ghoul so it's a standard necromantic package from euro bowl there you go that was a long introduction wasn't it but i almost got through it <laughs> Just uh, chose to beat off the um, lineman. Don't like that. You could have diagonally blocked, right? To keep you know, having punches at it. You don't just want to beat them off. But yeah, at the moment this is uh this is an instant hit on this Saurus, isn't it? Which is not what the Saurus wants. Wolf going around like this, hitting him. And pushing him into the flesh golem on the first hit and then chaining away this other guy on the second hit. <laughs> Fails the pickup. Kind of tempting to push forward now, isn't it? Try and pressure the pickup. It is kind of tempting. Oh, we're already in. We are already in. Instantly in. Okay. Well, high risk, high reward for the uh, Necro. Whole gold stacker. This is a frenzy trap, isn't it? Two and a one. He gets the initial power again, goes to the defenseless player and removes him. Now, you know, he would have removed him whether he was defenseless or not, but that turned it into a 75 instead of a 55, didn't it? Oh my god, he apples it. Okay, well. It is what it is. Um, 
It's the best time to use the apple, right? On a KO, turn one of the half. Maximum value. The problem is the rest of the game is very, very scary for you now. Henning Eckstein, I thought that said Harvey Keitel, I thought that was rather weird, I, I don't know, I, eyesight's going completely. <laughs> Good evening. Dimmy wants both of them to lose. Well, sorry Dimmy, they can't both lose. But yeah, you know, what are the teams left? We've got a couple of Lizards, two or three Necro, Undead, can't really remember. <laughs> Can't really remember. So yeah, lots of basing here, which is it's just very risky, isn't it? This is the this is the thing. It's very risky. What he could do is uh, block this one first, then blitz the wolf, then block the fleshy, then block the wraith. But I mean, then his skinks are completely exposed. So you don't really want to do that. You've got to worry about these two guys here. But also, this is a complicated situation now, isn't it? Maybe blitz with the crocs and then put the crocs over here. But then you've really got to power the wraith. And you really want the wraith, you really want the crocs in the middle and activate. Activated anyway, so this is a bit tricky. Okay, well, he makes the pickup. You could one day the golem. 50 50, it's a good result, isn't it? Oh, he could use that skink. Okay, well, he could have used that skink to assist the... Can he use this one as well? It's one shot. Oh, this one is even further away. Oh. So, feeding the wolf is... Uh, is good in a way, because at least he's not uh, smashing... Smashing a Saurus, but also it's not It's not good for the lifespan of the skink, is it? I like that like the problem with the blitz here is like leaving the ball exposed, isn't it? But this does get you the max blocks for the uh, Crocs blitz and a removal, thanks to Mighty Ball. But yeah, but the ball is safe enough, isn't it? Nice two men up. No D start. Kebab. I might go for a kebab in twenty twenty five. Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm probably never gonna have a kebab again. I may never have a kebab again. As long as I live. I really don't want to be Papa Pekio. I really don't want to be. So, to that end, I think. I think no more kebabs ever. Swinging dumb kebabs. <laughs> Lots of players in here for the Necro. Can they be beaten off? 
maybe maybe the funny thing is again with this non-block guy he's tied up by the fleshy so he doesn't want to blitz himself as he's only 55 but then if he brings in a block guy to blitz him then yes it ups it to 75 but if it fails there's three players stuck instead of two so Say slim, but it's pretty. It's honestly pretty, uh, pretty common. <laughs> Beating off in a blood bowl. Is Elliot here to keep me in check? I am here. Oh, I guess, I guess he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Gets him down. Thanks to block. He gets to smash the wolf and does nothing to him. You'll do nothing. Right, so he finally gets to he finally gets to hit the uh, Saurus now. Eh? He finally gets to hit this Saurus. I mean, he could just block him with a flesh golem, but you can actually hit him with a wolf, so probably best to hit him with a wolf. In fact, then this fleshy eye can't do it. Why he screamed across the table at each other? Wow. Nope. Oh. The Dublays. No, I did not like that. I definitely wanted to put in this guy here so that you can blitz the flesh. Not the flesh of blitz of the wolf. I guess now this works out well. That he gets to make this hit. So, yeah, just a bit of... Okay, so it works out, yeah, by, by him not rolling the pow. Okay, and then if he'd followed, then he could have come round one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven square hitting him, eight square hitting him. I like that more than a. Uh, oh my god, another double skulls. <laughs> okay, well he gets he gets he gets to claw the crocs. And a one D. He's rolled two double skulls and a one D pal. Outrageous. Was a one into two, and then he one D pals as well. So there you go. So big payoff there by going the slightly greedier route of the uh, of the crocs hit and one uh, D there and stuff. But it worked out. All the one Ds work. Now this is a terrible turn for Will King. Four players down, one of which is stunned. Got to try to rest back. Momentum. Not easy for him to hit the fleshy unless he commits a skink, which maybe he has to. I would say he does have to put a skink in 
blitz the... In fact, doesn't even need a blitz, right? Well, he kind of wants to blitz. He kind of wants to blitz the fleshy so that he can then block this wolf and then block this wolf. So I would have blitzed the fleshy here. Just for maximum wolf hits. Well, I guess you can still just blitz the wolf, which is the same thing. But I don't know, I would have... Maybe this is better because then you've got less stuck on the fleshy if it fails. Yeah. Maybe that was better to start with that. Hmm. Certainly said for just blitzing this fleshy as well, but then again, if you fail and you're stuck on him, it's terrible, so... Maybe just blitz the wolf. Full skink cage. Oh, he's blitzing the ghoul. Does nothing. You do nothing. Well, we've got a two into two here instantly. It seems good. We can stand up him for another two into two. Or, you know, could move the wraith over and go turn it to the other way. Oof. Nothing. I definitely want to keep him in front of me. Uh, could have pushed it back, because then that would have given him another follow-up hit, but I think it's better to keep him in front. This guy can go down there so that you can block him later. He can block him. He can go in there. He can go there and he can block. He hasn't used a blitz though, has he? I guess the ghoul could blitz. Or the wraith. That's a little bit annoying. with him. And that gets him the assist. Just maxing blocks in it. Just max blocks. And that's all you try to do each turn. You know, you'll end up putting the opponent in trouble. Turn five. Could hit the uh, fleshy here, then try to turn the corner, maybe. Won't go through the middle. Blitz the uh, wolf there in the middle and just go straight through the middle. It's a little bit early, but... Um, because it's like kind of like so difficult to get past Necro a lot of the time. Maybe it's okay just to take the Blitz here. Also, there's the uh, Blizzard as well, isn't there? This guy could go th three, four, five, six to there, which is pretty good. You can go two, three, four, five, six to there. So you'll have like a Sora screen, and then he can go in behind cage him. That seems pretty good. That 
seems to be what Will King has somewhat decided upon. I guess he hasn't done it exactly as I would have. I don't like going quite so tight the sideline here. I think I'd have blitzed the wolf first just to see what's happening, right? This might be better end state actually. But I like I like I would have liked to have blitzed the wolf first just to see what happened. Because he could have still done all of this move without the Saurus out in front. Oh my god, huge Kaz. Will he regen? He does not regen. Wow, I wish I'd rolled like this versus Devo, I tell you. I tell you. Take the both down, yeah. It's not really a good decision, is it? He gets, he gets a Kaz that regens. Oh my god. Not not a great decision to both down, but I understand it because like, you're frustrated with the fleshy like getting your way and stuff. But um, incredible. Block would have been a bit better then. Just quietly. I understand people like wanting a guarder. Um, I feel like guarding the crocs is, is kind of a little bit better if you want to deal, but I still don't like that. I just want six block. Personally, hits a skink, casts it. Reddit advice enabled. Simply kill the skinks, it's easy, isn't it? Hmm. It's not super easy because you really want to block with the crocs to get this guy through. So, this is the thing I would have tried to get one of these through last turn. You could blitz with the Saurus here and then just move the, the Crocs in, right? And then block him away. I don't hate that. But this is like the more natural and normal move to do. But I wouldn't have hated this blitz on there. Because now he's got a loner block to get all three of these to relevancy. A loner blockless block. I guess he could block him and if he powered him then move him through. But still, I like I like blocking here. Yeah, it could have even been there, which would be slightly better. I think just cuts off dodges, doesn't it? Like, I mean, the, I guess the drive ones, it doesn't really matter. Hello, Ali Raider. God, you know what? The uh, fantasy football league that I'm in, one guy is doing loads of trades with people, and for some reason people are giving him really good trades. And he also got a, he also got a guy off the waivers that I wanted. It's very sad. Oh, Blizzard GFI. Casual. Wait, it was a double. Was it a double Blizzard GFI? It was a double Blizzard GFI. 
outrageous. Probably got a score here, hasn't he, actually? Disconnected from his Saurus. Very disconnected from them. Wolf on the prowl. There are only zombies that are out. I guess it's okay just to uh, just to bang it in. With two rerolls, he could make some blocks, attrition blocks. And two D him that might give him a three D blitz. Problem with that is he can just four plus off, can't he? He can't like screen against everything. He's got a dodge. He's got a dodger, and he's got two agility three dudes. So even if like you stand on him and stuff, it's not great. I would. Oh wow, that was a, I hate that stand firm. That get, let, lets him three dash your guy easier here. Realistically, can't. Glorious. No, I won't crocs. give in until I'm oh my victorious, God, that was and I will defend. Hate that. I will defend. I mean, I guess it was blitzing this one. I had a shiz couple of days, but at least I did not have to play BB3. No. One in nine. He just did a one in nine blitz. Oh my God, you lunatic. No offense, but Will King, you flipping lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, howdy. That was rowdy. Um, hello, Odon. Thank you very much. Staying fantastic for 83 glorious months. Um, that is nearly seven years, isn't it? Nearly seven years. Unbelievable. Nearly 21 Ruby pregnancies. And yeah, I saw some of the things in SFL Discord. Uh, Obviously, hope everything works out for you on that front. So, uh, thanks very much, Jordan. All the best. So, yeah, it does go in early. But he's got, yeah, he's got the wolf kill, which is huge, isn't it? <laughs> it's it's hard to believe that I started streaming in 2015. It's like literally nine years since I started, because it was October time. It's literally nine years since I started streaming. Like, that's... Can't get my head around that. I'm like about eight years since partnering. More or less. I think. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Also, it was about eight years ago that I got ill as well. Which was uh, annoying. That seemed like it doesn't seem that long ago as well. Crazy. Yeah, it probably was. Pretty quick, really, when you think about it. I only started in October, didn't I? But it was like... Instantly pretty good. I'm not elderly, Bucky. I'm not that fucking old. 44 isn't elderly. I mean, I'm 29, obviously. I don't know why I said 44. The fuck? Twenty nine. <laughs> it's ancient. It's not ancient.
So this isn't looking a great two turn attempt, is it? It's in a blizzard. He started with a push. Both ghouls are in the backfield. One wolf up front that hasn't blitzed, so yeah, he's basically not trying to score here. Unless he's going for a Wraith touchdown, and oh my god, he's killed the Crocs. Well, that's much better than a <laughs> than a failed two-turn attempt, isn't it? It's obviously not as good as scoring a touchdown, but uh, that's certainly a successful way to fail. Flip me. Should definitely have blitzed the skink with block just quietly. Like these should be in reverse, right? And then blitz the skink with block. My favourite player. Love the I love the crocs. Do you know what there's people that tell people to not buy the crocs? Like not in that style, but in uh, you know, in progression. It's like I feel like you have to have the crocs. You have to. He's probably my favourite big guy, the Crocs. He's class, isn't he? He looks good as well. Like, all the lizards look good, to be fair. They've got good animations as well, haven't they? They've got good models and animations historically, lizard man. Yeah, if a rat ogre was good, he'd be a... He'd be a... Uh, he'd be a Crocs again. Oh. Fails to argue the call, and the coach is thrown out. He'll have a minus one on brilliant coaching results. It was almost a free roll foul because you know he might get this guy back, but also he's he's only winning in overtime now, right, Pirate Bear? So you've got to you've got to factor that into whether you foul or not. Um, so the reason is because either they feel they need re rolls or the people they're giving the advice to need re rolls. So I get the I get the thing I get the argument if you're saying to like a new player, you know, um, you get a second re-roll, you will mess up. Having the re-rolls is good, um, but the thing is, I would say, just play better anyway, right? Just get better. Get better so you can because like it's like critical mass, isn't it? That's the thing. It's like six auras don't control the field anywhere near as well as six auras and a crux does. So like you're losing so much value by not taking a crux. The fact that you can make one more reroll, not a great argument for me. But I can see the point. For like a new player, I can't see the point. I just don't agree with it. I just don't agree with it because you know, like, wait, how is he doing this? Is he going all the way? He could have just like put two in there and blitz there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is potentially a G if I'm in the snow. I guess you could blitz this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Ordon. It's just, you know, the better pitch control is is better, isn't it? And like, plus, if you're that bad that you can't order things and you need to re-roll loads, well, then you're not getting better at ordering, are you? So, I like how he just casually blocked his path, not that it matters, but he just moved him. <laughs> his only purpose was to block his path. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yes, you definitely control people best by them not being able to make any moves because your strength four, and they can't hit anybody on two dice, or they're dead. He can on the ball this guy. Because now the new rule is you don't have to pass block to, like, you know, affect the pass or whatever.
it's <laughs> it's not a touchdown dance it's a midfield dance I've never seen that before <laughs> right 10 players for the lizards and 10 players Wait, no, nine players for the Necro. And they've both lost a top player. Crocs down and Wolf down. <laughs> Very good. A very good D star. It's funny that Devo has this reputation about eating ridiculously fast because I've always eaten ridiculously fast. <laughs> and yet no one ever really commented on it, so that was nice. Vicious ref, neither sent off. Wolf is stunned. <laughs> oh, brutal. Absolutely brutal. Kills his LOS, doesn't it? Because he could have just started off with an instant cast. Oh my god, he did a blockless block! Could have just blocked with block. Instead, didn't. Hasn't gone for a pickup. There might be some sore asses in his backfield. Gets the knockdown. Oh, he did it wrong! Well, in my opinion, wrong. I would have definitely blocked with this one, right? To get this guy free. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this guy in and this guy. So I'd have had three Saurus in this neck of the woods. I really like doing that rather than. You know, this way you got an extra hit. But I really like the idea of. Three swords, right? This guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? That swords could have been there. Would have been really nice. Obviously, it looks even better since he won in nine, but, um, you know, even discounting that, I just really liked having an extra swords over here. And now that's let him size up to here to get guarded on this one, so that I wouldn't have made that block either. But it's funny, isn't it? Because that block could have been a Kaz, this block could have been a Kaz. So on another day, doing like the safe gym play gets, you know, no rewards. And this could have been rewarded with two Kaz. There's a lot to be said for maxing blocks. Could three assist foul the fleshy? You could just put skinks down in case things happen. Xander Shepherd, how are we all? It's a good question, isn't it? How are we all? I'm okay, thanks. Not terrible. I even did a little bit of fumble art today. A little bit of fumble art. Is Elliot here? I'm. I'm not sure he is. I am here. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking love it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Because it's, you know, not not to not to toot my own horn, but if if this guy was here, then all of a sudden, you know, he'd have guard, and it would be very difficult to deal with him, wouldn't it? But um, as it is, he can use the blitz over here. Two into one, I guess. Oof. Again, I might have blitzed up there to uh, also do a two into one, but with the benefit of freeing your wraith. Would have been quite good. Instead of pushing a Saurus into the danger zone. Oh my god, he got he got the uh, got the shadowing. Yeah, and this guy gets two deed, whereas if you had another player there, it would, it would all be messed for him. So, interesting, interesting. I might be tempted to do the same thing again this turn, like he just blocks the fleshy. Try and free two sources. The pickup works, it's not on the rain. I think this is rain all the time. Like I know that <laughs> it couldn't be more clearly snow. Like it's obviously snow. Like, I, this is just me being an idiot. I know this is me being an idiot, but I see this and I just think it's rain all the time. Terrible. I lost a game in the in like uh the early days of Blood Bowl 3 because I thought it was a you know, I thought it was a 2 plus GFI and it was a 3 plus yeah like it's slow and it's white it's like it's so obviously snow and yeah I just for some reason oh my goodness it dodges away you can add double chain the, so the saurus right the problem is His guard is here. Oh, there's a player there. He can block him, but then his guard is there. But anyway, this plays. You could block him into him, and then you could block him into him, and then he could block him. But yeah, you can also just free the. You can what this one. These two can both block him, and then this one goes one, two, three, four, five, six. But I would have rather just blocked him. You know. I would have rather tried to do this, but it's actually not easy, is it? Because you'd have to, you'd have to get rid of him somehow. So here we go. Could have maybe done a safe move first, honestly. Yeah, only re-rolling her. Fail there. Like you're not GFI, right? You're not three plus in GFI, so could have moved him into there or there first. Maybe uh, this skink. Was he here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like there or there? I don't know how far he could get. But like, maybe try and get the skink after the ball. Like, ideally, he'd be here so he's trapped, but obviously, you can't GFI in, in a blizzard. Oh, he can dodge in a blizzard, though. Okay, that's not terrible. If you're going to move that guy to there, then this guy looks even better down here, right? This guy looks even better down here if you're going to try and dodge that guy out as well. I guess you could also have maybe he's cut the corner there. I don't know where he was exactly. Maybe you could have cut the corner and got behind him. It would have been really good to have had him behind the goal. This is a bit of a pickle for the Necros. Still 9 versus 10. Everything's standing, but it's not easy. Hmm. 
this looks like he's committing to the ghoul dot, doesn't it? Because Oh, he could try oh, if that had been a pow he could have just dodge surfed this skink, right? That's pretty decent. Problem is, it's not a power, but that would have been okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Surface King. Like, it does something to help you start winning the fight. I really don't know what he does now. This is very rough. Just to here gets the knockdown and a removal. It's funny, isn't it? I was completely. Oh my god! I mean, that was obviously a misclick. <laughs> Dear God. Wow. Well he can he can kind of save it by dodging off the Wraith, but now he's just gonna get instantly 2 d Well that was that sucked for him, didn't it? Instant 2 d yeah. Full pow. I honestly that this wraith had to dodge. Like, yeah, it sucks to do, but you've got to do it after that, right? You've just got to do it because it's just getting instant two D on the ball. Is here the best one to like screen with the? Oh no, that's definitely not right. Could have gone to there. It was the, here or there, right? To try and st stop the skinks picking it up. It was here or there, but this is definitely worse because now it just can just go straight in and fuck off. This one can like go there. Pretty good square. And then he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to there. Yep. Could just stand there, right? You could just stand there and get two D. It's not that bad because it's not even that easy to two D in with a Soros defensive assist. And if you want in nine, it's disastrous, right? But yeah, this is a four three. Because if you stood there, it'd have been a four four three. So I do think that square's a little bit better. It would have mitigated a 55% um, to a 33% plus um, a reroll. The lizards are, yeah, this is the lizard's defense. So yeah, so obviously you couldn't double GFI because it's in the snow, but if it wasn't snowing, you probably would have gone for the GFIs, right? Rushes. Oh, it was a bludger, so it's so it's 30 to one in six then, isn't it? Yeah. 
So it's like 51 to 30 if you include rerolls, which it probably doesn't. So yeah, it's, it's well better to, to do the dodge. I don't know, you bamboozled me with a 35-ish to 25-ish. <laughs> that made me think he was hitting a skink for some reason. Um, so Bludger is like 30% or 17%, right? And then it depends whether you're going to re-roll or not. They do have overtime, yes. Little lead person. It would leave the lizards free, but I mean, when you're just instantly giving somebody a 2D, that's. It's really bad, isn't it? No? Well, he's managed to run all the way around, but it's a double GFI in the snow rush, and he fails because of the snow. Now, honestly, I think you just score, right? Just score. Don't even make the blocks. So you've still got two re-rolls in case of uh in case something mental happens, because it needs something mental now. So I think the best play is just to score and go 2-0 up. But people would tend to stall this still. So um Oh god. I don't know why that's something to be proud of, Chunter, but well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Chanta. <laughs> Did you misclick or? That is probably GG there. Dusters. <laughs> we had this in one of the other cup games. Uh, Mighty Blow and AV on the same player. It might have even been a wolf. It might have been the same wolf. <laughs> but it's a little bit too little too late, isn't he? He's got a score in two to give himself a chance, and again, he's just blocked with a wolf. So. That pretty much has sealed his fate. Could try to score on this Wraith. Love a good Wraith scoring threat. Next level strats.
<laughs> Very good point, old <laughs> You should have just done one D and one D, yes, Chunter. You shouldn't do up pills for no reason. Bad Chunter. Well, it depends. Depends, doesn't it? If you're getting, if you're getting donations for mad play, then uh, <laughs> then fair enough. <laughs> Look at this. We've got. Oh my God! What? Got some Skellington cheerleaders on the side there. And over here, human cheerleaders. No halfling cheerleaders. Um, bad play there by Will King and Pirate Bear. There's the vaguest chance of losing 2-1, but it's definitely over. What do you think, Elliot? Is it over? I am here. favorite thing. <laughs> He's the hot new Elliot meme, yeah, hold well on. He was he was in the booth the other day. <laughs> he just he, he just kept saying I am here. <laughs> I was like, is Elliot still here? And he was like, I am here <laughs> And I kept saying things and he just kept saying I am here <laughs> But apart from that he was completely muted and, and not really there. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally his picture was on the screen for like three games where all he said was I am here every now and then brilliant does need to dodge this ghoul to have a chance of a consolation touchdown or the wolf I guess but it's the easier to dodge the ghoul <laughs> it was brilliant it was <laughs> I, I found it very amusing. Okay, so not even trying to get the consolation touchdown. I mean, he's definitely in the booth, right? If he wasn't in the booth, how could he possibly say, I am here? <laughs> right? It's the only way he could say that. <laughs> so yeah, it's my favourite. It's my favourite Elliot ism yet. <laughs> yeah, YouTube. <laughs> Elliot Elliot did not like the uh, YouTube comments that were like Don't care for the co commentator. <laughs> <laughs> could have done without the could have done without the co commentator or something, that's what somebody said once. Very funny. There you 
go. Will King doesn't do his last turn. And, and of course, the game dumps us out into, into the main menu rather than the summary screen. But there you go. The, the, here is the summary, um, which doesn't have the result on. But <laughs> Will King is the first player to make the semi-finals of the first NAF Rules Cup. So there you go. Congratulations, Will King with Liz lizard men is there at the expense of pirate bear right and with that um on that bombshell that is the end of the, the youtube thanks for congratulations wilking commiserations pirate bear i thought it was a a really good game for wilking wasn't it dominated out the box it was just tough for pirate bear to deal with him um, Necro versus Lizards, it's a weird one. Um, if things, like, if the, if the, oh god, if Jim can speak, um, if the Lizards get on, if the Necros get on top, oh my god, if the Necros get on top, it's, it's really bad for the um, for the lizards, but if they don't, it's really bad for the necros. Sorry, I completely failed to speak English there. Um, and yeah, he never got on top, and it was always difficult for him. Um, but yeah, well played to both. Congratulations, Will King. Commiserations, Pirate Bear. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.